Hey alligators, what's up? It's Sally Hardesty and I am back with another Conspiracy Theories video. I've done a few of these on my channel and you guys really seem to like them, so if that's cool, I'm gonna continue making them. They're a lot of fun and this one really interests me just because I think it's just about the scariest, darkest thing I've ever seen on the internet. So we're gonna jump right into this real quick. Today we will be focusing on one YouTuber in specific. I'm Poppy. I know that in my last video about conspiracies I did like five different youtubers and I promise I'll have another youtuber conspiracy theory compilation coming up real soon but today we just got to put this all in one video because what the actual heck this channel the girl by the name of Poppy she's a character that's not her real name and she plays this role in all of her videos she never breaks character and it's the creepiest thing I've ever seen in my entire life she does music like pop style music, hence Poppy, the character's name. And she also does these really weird skits that seem to have a deeper meaning to all of them. So if you really wanna break it up, I would say that almost every video this character Poppy has put out is a own conspiracy theory in itself. Like you can uncover a different meaning throughout each video, but the overall consensus of her channel that we're going to be talking about today is the real conspiracy. And I think there's a huge backstory on it that a lot of people don't really touch on when they make these kinds of videos talking about Poppy and why this is such a huge conspiracy and what is the point of these skits and these songs that she's been putting out on her channel for as long as she's been putting out videos because she has a lot of videos in People just don't know what the point of all this is. Many conspiracy theorists have come out and said that she is working with the Illuminati, that if you actually play one of her songs in reverse, you will hear Hail Satan. People have also come out and said that her songs are ways to mind control people, and I am not saying that that information is false. I would actually agree with that information. I just think there's a lot more to the story and a much bigger picture that comes into play. So when you guys go to all of Poppy's description boxes, you will notice it says directed by Titanic Sinclair, who is another YouTuber, which we'll get to in a second. And obviously, this comes to no surprise because she didn't film these herself. Like, they're obviously directed. Someone is sitting behind the camera telling her what to do and what to say. That is very apparent. But when you go to his channel, you will notice that he has videos very similar to Poppy's. And that, we'll get to that in a second. Poppy, I believe that her channel is there to make fun of pop culture and how we obsess and idolize over these people who are famous and when in reality the media is telling them what to do and what to say and I know that seems really bland like okay sure but why is that a big deal? Why it's a big deal, I'm going to explain. So when you go to Titanic Sinclair's channel, I believe it's basically the same thing, but talking about people behind the scenes, making fun of them, talking about how we view them in a certain way that we probably shouldn't. You need to look closer if you want the truth. Listen to me closely. Through people behind the scenes, Titanic Sinclair and Poppy is viewed as like a famous person like an artist right and she actually is signed with a record label Island Records to be exact so you kind of wonder why her music is so weird like what is it well she is playing a huge role in a project that has actually been taking part for a while now and she is the part two of this project now before Poppy Titanic Sinclair had another channel with someone by the name of Mars Argo who he is rumored to have been dating at the time long story short they broke up and she is nowhere to be found now, right? But he's obviously still here directing someone new. And she had every capability to do so. She was not signed to a contract like Poppy is. She was able to walk away and move on to other things. Now, I think that Poppy is basically Mars Argo 2.0, a new and improved version of Mars Argo. Last year, 2016, a video came out on Titanic Sinclair's best friend's channel by the name of Tony. And on that channel, it was a video of Mars Argo on a webcam with a gun pointed to her head, chewing bubble gum, laughing, talking to a stranger online who she considered a friend, someone that she could trust and confide in and really talk to because she felt like she didn't have anyone really to talk to. I'm really happy that we get to have these talks. I feel like I don't really have anyone else to talk to. What's the point of all this anyway, right? Sometimes I just throw out blood. It, it wasn't your fault. It wasn't anybody's fault. I just wanted it all. This video is 3 minutes and 36 seconds long, by the way. That's relevant. At the end of this video, she starts pouring blood out of her mouth, and then the clip is, like, altered with. Like, it's put in slow-mo, and then the visual was just messed up. But basically, the point of me telling you that is that when you rewind it and you play it in reverse, this is what it says. If you want it all, you cannot be distracted by the illusion you have created. Only when your mind is silent, you can see clear enough to enjoy your life and forget about your desires. 
Your desires are irrelevant. So that is what it says when you play the end of that clip backwards in the video, Everybody Wants It All with Mars Argo. That is the last we've really seen of her, right? That comes into play with Poppy because there are several references to this video on Poppy's channel. One, for example, is the video titled 336, aka the length of the video of Mars Argo when she was last really seen on YouTube. 336? Oh no, I'm late. Another reference Poppy has to this on her channel is a video titled Oh no. Oh no. Where another poppy is featured throwing up blood, and then a new poppy comes to take her place, aka Poppy, the one that we know now, and the one that everyone was all hyped up about, like what's going on, what are these videos that this girl is putting out, replacing Mars Argo, who was a lesser version of Poppy, if that makes sense. Now you may notice Mars Argo, most of her videos are gone. Like on that channel with her and Titanic Sinclair, there's only like three left at this point because they've all pretty much been deleted. But if you knew her back when she was posting content, she was basically like a more creative version of Poppy. And she was in a band as well. Poppy is a pop music singer. Mars Argo was in a band, but she was never signed to a record label. So like I said, she eventually did leave YouTube. She did stop making these videos and she did break away from the pop culture and the record labels tying her down and telling her what to create. In other words, Poppy is a parody of every pop singer and model and musician and person out there who's famous that we idolize. When you really start to look at her videos, you can realize the irony in this. For example, there's one video where she's talking to a plant and it's basically making fun of vegans. I've been waiting so long for this moment, but we're finally interviewing this plant. There's another video where she's asking people behind the scenes what to say about a t-shirt because she's asking people who control her, like the record labels, etc., what she has to say and what her personality is going to be. What do you want me to say? If money can't buy happiness, then why is it so fabulous? Poppy in all of her videos is so emotionless, you feel like you'll never get to really know the real her. And people are obsessed with getting to know celebrities in their personal life and really invading their privacy. So I think this is really portraying that and depicting that exactly how it says in the message at the end of the Mars Argo video where she says everybody wants it all. Everybody just wants it all, right? Everyone wants the fortune, the fame, the money, but then when it really comes down to it, that will destroy you. And the true irony in this is the fact that everyone who clicked on this video is doing exactly that. You guys are trying to pry into Poppy, the character Poppy's personal life, figuring out the conspiracy behind her, what's really going on, because that's all we care about, right? Are these celebrities and what they're really doing behind the scenes. We're obsessed with it as a culture. Now, when you go to Titanic Sinclair's profile and you click his website, your cursor automatically becomes an Illuminati symbol, the eye. This is not the only giveaway that this Poppy character is seen to be working with the Illuminati. I personally think that it's symbolism saying that the Illuminati, who is telling her what to say and what to do and how she needs to act, is aka the record label, tying her down, forcing her to say what they want or else her career is over or she will be killed like the Illuminati. Go ahead, you can stop. On my count, three, two, one. Death. And there is so much obvious clues to this in her songs, like the way she's sitting in this specific music video, etc. Now, when you put every single piece together, in a way, it makes it a little bit less creepy just because you kind of understand the overall message. And I believe that's what the Illuminati tries to do a lot of the time, whether we realize it or not. In this case, if I'm right about this, if everyone who came up with this theory was right and all the pieces do fit the way that I think they do, then Maybe that's the message. Maybe, you know, nothing harmful is coming out of it. Maybe it's not really mind control in her songs, but rather a message saying that we should not be so obsessed with fame and money and fortune and that when you go on chasing that and you let people control you and you basically give your soul to the industry or to the devil, to the Illuminati, that you end up unhappy like Poppy is. If you look at her videos now compared to the beginning, there is a significant difference and like I said, this is all allegedly, this is a conspiracy theory, we're just having fun. I will be linking the sources I found for this in the description box below. There were a lot of different sites and videos that I watched, so I'm going to give them credit because they did a lot of research and there's a lot more in-depth things if you guys want to dive into it further because I just basically scratched the surface because 
I did have to watch those videos multiple times to actually understand it because it is really confusing and they're throwing out a lot of names. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you want more like this, be sure to let me know by giving it a big thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Let me know your thoughts and your conspiracy theories on this because it's a conspiracy theory. I may or may not be right about this. This could be totally off. I really don't know. The mystery of Poppy continues. She still uploads very regularly. So let me know what you guys think below. Check out my social media if you want. If you want to stay connected outside of YouTube, don't forget to subscribe. Hit post notifications. That way you're notified when I upload videos. And I will see you guys in the next video. Later, alligators. Bye.